record. All right, and I am going to share my screen. This down, close this, sit. All right, great. So, perfect. Can you, um, actually, I'm just gonna back this off for a second. Hang on one second, guys. My computer's being a little fussy. Cancel. Okay, there we go. Everything's working now. Okay, so tonight we are gonna talk about natural solutions for flea, tick, and heartworm prevention, which is kind of tricky because it's actually a little bit of creative marketing. So while, while, why we are all here learning is that some of these products that we use can compromise our pets' bodies, which invites pets to attack, right? If they have a, a weaker immune system, can cause dogs to react to different allergies. Like dogs and, and cats are having, uh, you know, tick bite reactions, they have flea saliva reactions, um, mosquito bites, putting chemicals onto our dog compromises their immune system and actually makes them a better host for these pests. It can also shut down your dog's immune system completely. Many of these side effects are extremely detrimental, which I have told you I've experienced. So, um, this is just a quick three minute video. You may have seen it on my timeline today, but for those of you who haven't, it's really important. It's, it's upsetting to watch, but I think it's very important that you know what happens. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. It's heartbreaking video. Two year old Logan having one of many seizures in his New Jersey home. More than 21 million views since being posted in April. Most alarming, Locum had his first seizure after taking just one dose of Synparica, a relatively new flea and tick drug prescribed by Locum's vet at the Rutherford Animal Hospital without telling her of known side effects. They should have warned me. And I was using something else, a collar that was working for him. So why change? Synparica, along with the drugs Nexgard, Revecto, and Cordelia, are flavored chews taken once a month. They've become extremely popular in just five years or less on the market. But PIX 11, through the Freedom of Information Act, has obtained all these reports sent by veterinarians and pet owners to the FDA, complaining of adverse side effects of these drugs. Near the top of the list, seizures. Next card, the oldest product, 1,315 reported dog seizures in five years. Provecto, 720 seizures in four years. Simparica, 557 seizures in three years, and Cordelio, six seizures in six months. The manufacturers say these problems are very rare, less than one in 10,000. Still, Tuba Axoy wishes the vet told her that. If you know the side effects, why wouldn't you just say something and leave that up to me to see if I want to take that chance? Simparica's packaging does include information on neurological risks, but it's in small print on the back of the carton and in the product information sheet inside the box. That's not good enough, says the FDA, which issued an alert last year, calling on these companies to change the label to highlight the potential for neurologic events. Only Nexgard has done so. The rest say new labeling will appear soon. I'm Arnold Diaz from Vic 11. The prescribing vet at the Rutherford Animal Hospital wouldn't speak with us, but the director said it would be impossible to list every possible side effect for every medication. We did dispense the package insert with the medication. Tuba didn't read it. I got you. I got you. Locum's been hospitalized four times so far. Anti seizure medications are not working. Tuba says it's already cost her $10,000. The manufacturer of Synparica, Zoetis, sent her $3,300. She needs more. They're telling me they can't do this uh, ongoing, which is, but my expenses will be ongoing. Arnold Diaz from 611. 
After we visited Zoetis, a company executive called Zuba, offering to look at all her receipts for possible reimbursement. As for Locum, she's taking him to yet another specialist this weekend. So you guys get the idea. It's, um, you know, it, it, it's horrible. Oops, Let me go back there. Um, all the side effects that uh, are happening with um, many of these drugs. And like they said, many times we don't, um, there we go, we don't uh, look at the insert or, um, you know, we're busy, we trust our veterinarian who is our professional to give us those side effects. So here's just a couple more examples. This is a Ceresto collar. A lot of people choose a Ceresto thinking, oh, it's the, the lesser of the evil. It's not something internal or topical. Well, there's some very serious reactions. And these are only the topical reactions that you're seeing. You're not seeing what's going on inside the dog's body. This black lab on the end is actually my ex-husband's dog, which I ended up taking and he applied frontline to the dog. And then with such a severe skin infection, then of course they had to treat, uh, treat it with, uh, you know, some steroids and antibiotics and they did it six times and he went into liver failure. So I ended up taking him to rehab him. So many of these products have um, severe side effects. You'll see the effects of Fipronil is in emotional and cognitive behaviors in mammals. We're seeing a lot of dogs and cats on frontline dogs, especially because, uh, you know, they're out in the world a little bit more that are becoming very reactive and very aggressive after using these products. So, um, on the, you know, there, here's, um, some, uh, you know, some, uh, official numbers by the FDA, their official website. The one on the left is 2020. The one on the right is updated as of March of 2021. And you can see how they've drastically increased. Um, you know, really, you know, a common uh, product that's used all the time is heart guard down here on the bottom. And look at this, 95,000 adverse reactions, 3,000 deaths. Sorry. So what about the Ceresto collars like we had just said? Well, there's some ingredients in the Ceresto collars that are irritants, cause severe skin irritation, they cause respiratory, they can cause seizures and cancers, autoimmune disease, uh, neurological reproductive birth defects, liver, kidney disease in both people and animals. So many of these pesticides are banned in um, other countries, especially European countries. But when you think about it, okay, you put the Ceresto collar on your dog, but now you've got your grandchildren or your children touching it. And every single thing that this collar touches is rubbed off where the dog sleeps. It's in your bed. It's, uh, you know, when you're petting the dog. So now you're um, getting these pesticides into your body as well. Down here in Florida, um, we see a lot of facial cancers. We see a lot of cancers in the mouth. We see a lot of lymphoma. Um, and a lot of that is due to the lawn chemicals. Everybody's in these gated communities where there's common areas and they're treating for pests and weeds and everything else. So if you have the ability to uh, choose a natural um, option, you know, a natural biodegradable option, then you can reduce your pet's risk of cancer. Currently, in the statistic in the United States is one out of every two dogs will have some form of cancer in their life, but will um, uh, eventually most of them die of cancer or kidney and liver failure. So as I had mentioned, this is the reason I'm showing you all these pictures is this is my beautiful Capone and we gave him, you can see on the bottom here, we gave him one heart guard. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. One heart guard, um, heartworm preventative on Saturday night and he woke up 100% blind on Sunday morning. And so 
yes, they say that it's 1% that has that adverse reaction, but you know what? I was that 1%. That was my dog that mattered. And as you can see, he watches TV. He liked to go jet skiing. He's watching TV in the car on the drive to Florida. He was an extremely visual dog. He loved TV. He was the neighborhood's kid. They would ask if Colin could come out and play. So for him to lose his eyesight overnight was completely devastating. And it could have been avoided. Shame on me. I did not read the insert. And it does say seizures, blindness, and death. So this is where we get into the creative marketing. These are chemical pesticides and they call it heartworm prevention, but it's actually not a preventative. So the mosquito, the way heartworm is transmitted is through mosquitoes. The mosquito bites the dog, lays the microfilaria in the dog's bloodstream, and then the, the worms develop. So when you give a heartworm pill, you are adding a pesticide and you're basically doing a cardiac cleanse on a monthly basis. So that's not a prevention. That's a maintenance program. That's a maintenance treatment. So um, it's really kind of creative marketing. And in the pet industry, they, uh, there's not um, a lot of regulation and they are allowed to, um, to market like this, which, it, which is uh, a little bit sneaky, right? So if you live in a very heartworm prevalent area like I do, so Florida is very, very bad. I want to say about 70% of the dogs that come into our animal rescue um, here are heartworm positive because they've never been on any type of prevention. You want to um, have your dog tested twice a year when you do your routine blood work. Um, and I recommend treating with a natural product. So heartworm preventatives uh, the traditional ones on the market, like I said, are insecticides and they come with short-term and long-term uh, damaging effects. So this is my beautiful Bella. She always looks that mad and it, that's actually not a mad face. She's just looks like that <laughs> all the time. But we came out of the house in Florida one day and these were all the mosquitoes on our front door. So clearly I need to um, do a cardiac cleanser every month with our three dogs. This is what I have chosen to use. So like I said, um, Capone went blind and that was about seven years ago. And I ended up working with an ophthalmologist in California and his life work was SARDS, sudden acute retinal degeneration. And he turned me on to this product. This is what he recommends for all of his clients. This product is derived from apricot seed kernel. So again, it's a cardiac cleanser without the side effects. So it supports the blood and the heart. It detoxes foreign contaminants from the body. Um, and it's given a little bit differently. So with this product, you give it for seven days on, and then you take seven days off. And then you do seven days on and seven days off. And um, it's a liquid. You get it directly from Amber Naturals. That's the company. Products like this, I don't recommend getting from Amazon because they can be adulterated. I recommend going directly to the company. Um, our big uh, lab at VUCA that we adopted last year, he was heartworm positive. I called the company directly, got one of their veterinarians on the phone, let them know that he was heartworm positive, And they gave me a protocol of using this product twice a day for 30 weeks. He is now negative. So I got to move this thing out of the way. Um, whoop, back again. Natural, so there's, uh, so what other healthy alternatives help keep these pests away? We wanna keep their immune system strong, appropriate diet as we, um, I'm always promoting a species appropriate diet. If you can do a species appropriate raw diet, a prey model diet, 80% muscle, 10% bone, 10% organ meat, slight vegetation, that is the best. And there's live enzymes. If you're not ready to make that jump to go raw, then a gently cooked whole food diet is phenomenal, but it's far better than feeding a processed kibble diet. Um, processed kibble is like us feeding our children cereal every day of their life. And there's no live enzymes, there's no immune boosting and cellular repair nutrition there. 
So gut health, very, very important, a really good probiotic digestive enzyme and making sure to reduce the environmental toxins such as like we talked about lawn chemicals, maybe uh, products you're using in the garden. There's a lot of really um, natural, wonderful products. We're gonna talk about a couple of those too. And then we use our essential oils. They're pennies per drop and they're great for so many other things besides just a flea and tick spray. I use them for cleaning, I use them for first aid. Um, they're my air freshener. I use them to promote emotional wellness, especially all my little rescues that come with some separation anxiety, some um, aggression, things like that. So here are the two flea and tick sprays that um, I use. And I'm gonna make sure you get these also, you're gonna get the replay, but I'll make sure you get these in your email, the follow-up. The one on the left is the one that I use. I live on Cape Cod in the summertime and I live right on the beach. and We've got all those sand fleas and um, it's just a really heavily infested area. Plus we have ticks. We have really bad ticks. Again, the big guy we adopted, when we adopted him, he came to us with Lyme disease and anaplasmosis, which are tick-borne diseases. So I used the recipe on the left to make sure that we keep everything off of him. Now, my little Brussels Griffon, she very rarely ever sets foot outside. She runs outside to go TT and then she runs right back inside. So the recipe on the right is perfectly fine for her because she does not spend any time outside. Another great way to keep these fleas and ticks at bay is making your own DIY flea and tick collar. So you're going to use these essential oils, eucalyptus, geranium, thyme, lemongrass, the repellent blend, which is called Terra Shield, and you're going to put them in four ounces of distilled water. I, I put them in a bottle first glass jar. It's shake, 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 shake. Put your cotton collar in a glass bowl or, or um, container or ceramic, stainless steel is fine as well, but nothing plastic because the essential oils will eat through the plastic and um, let it soak and then let it dry. So I, you know, I recommend on the bottom, you soak for about 20 minutes, allow it to dry, then you can put it on your dog. Um, this is another great solution. This so this video is a little bit longer. So what I did is I give you, I gave you the link. It's a nine minute video and I could show you this container is one of those fertilizer containers that you can hook directly up to your hose. It's got a quick disconnect. I put my water and essential oils right in this and I spray my yard. I never have fleas or ticks in my yard. I spray my yard when I first get back to Cape Cod around May um, and then I spray it uh, once or twice a month, I'll, I'll go out there and spray the lawn. This is a great way to treat the lawn without chemicals. These, they love, 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 love. This is a flea and tick prevention dog treat and you can um, melt the organic coconut oil, uh, whisk in the nutritional yeast or put it in a Nutribullet. Um, I add 10 drops of the turmeric oil, and we're gonna talk about that in the next slides. It is so powerful for helping ticks release from dogs. And then you just pour it into your silicone molds. I got them on Amazon. You can have, if you have dog bones or Easter bunnies, it doesn't matter. So everybody always says to me, but how do I get the two colors? The coconut oil, the white on the bottom, um, automatically separates from the yeast. So you don't have to do a thing. All you have to do is, it, this literally takes me five minutes. I put it in the silicone mold, pop them in the freezer, go up, take my shower. Now I have these, if I wanted to bring somebody a, a nice little gift for their dog. So the turmeric oil, the essential oil, there's a PubMed study that prevents the attaching attachment of, of ticks to dogs using essential oils. I gave this study here. I am gonna bring up the study in a second, um, but it, it's very powerful. During the um, height of the season, we have these dual chamber capsules. And what that is, is the inner capsule is the turmeric botanical. It's the herb itself, this powdery herb. Then the outer capsule is the essential oil. So you're getting tumorones and tumoroids. So you're getting both. You're getting all that curcumin, which is 
um, double duty, double power. So here is that study. So um, again, I'm gonna make sure you have that link so you can pull that up yourself, but it's nice to have, you know, from PubMed or from the National Library of Medicine, it's nice to have that scientific backing, right? I love that. Um, so here's the, the, you can see the capsules here and the inner capsule right there is the powder and the outer capsule is um, the essential oil. These are also completely amazing for heart disease. They're anti-inflammatory. I was a dog groomer for 30 years. I have severe arthritis in my neck, my shoulders, my hands. Um, and so taking these every day are phenomenal. My old guy, my two dogs are 12 years old and Buka is going to be 13 shortly. And, uh, you know, he's big, he's 98 pounds. And so a 13 year old lab um, definitely comes with some arthritis. Uh, he gets one in the morning and one in the evening. And it really, really helps uh, soothe his muscles, his tendons, ligaments, his arthritis, helps boost the immune system and bonus tick prevented. So cedarwood oil is one of the essential oils that's in our flea and tick spray. And this is another cool study. There's a little QR code if you wanna bring it up, but you'll also get this. So Rutgers University found that cedarwood oil was 100% effective in destroying bed bugs within one minute of direct contact. So this is kind of a, a crazy story, but I'm gonna, try to be brief. I was traveling home with all three of my dogs and I stopped at a Hampton Inn because they accept dogs. I got into the hotel room. All of a sudden, my three dogs started scratching like crazy. And I was like, oh gosh, what is this? So I had that flea and tick spray made up, which had the cedar wood essential oil in it. They were going crazy. I turned out the lights and uh, was ready to go to bed. And then it was like there was fireflies in my room. They uh, like they must have been totally infested with bed bugs or some other type of thing. So I got out that flea and tick spray. I completely drenched the dogs with it. I drenched myself and I sprayed the bedding. I sprayed the floor. I sprayed everything. And then everybody stopped scratching. So I, I always carry this anyways, because you never know when you stop those rest areas, what kind of bugs are there. So it naturally repels, great for promoting healthy skin, very calming, relaxing, relieves spasms. Um, it helps prevent infection, uh, destroys bed bugs, and Rutgers University did that study. Lavender essential oil, very calming, both emotionally, physically, very soothing to the skin, especially dogs that are having any type of um, allergies or eczema, dermatitis, burns. It's phenomenal for burns. You put it right on a burn. Um, helps you go to sleep, natural insect repellent. Geranium promotes the appearance of clear, healthy skin. It's great for your hair. I actually use it in hair oil just to keep my hair moisturized, to keep the split ends down, but it keeps the bugs away. Down here in Florida, that's huge. We've got the no so they're never flying around my head because I've got all these oils in my hair. Um, peppermint essential oil, anti-inflammatory, anti-tumoral, gets rid of head tension, um, helps with excessive body heat. If your pet is having a fever or is, uh, you know, it, it's 85 degrees down here, it's hot out. So if Boop is feeling too hot outside, I put it, a drop of this in between the shoulder blades. Um, great for you ladies for hot flashes, wonderful for digestive support, great for respiratory and repels, blood, uh, repels bugs. Lemongrass essential oil, antifungal, uh, Circulation helps increase circulation, great for tendon and ligament inflammation. So if you have a dog with a torn ACL or just he's a weekend warrior, he likes to go out um, hiking on the weekend and maybe, you know, pulls some uh, muscles and tendons, lemongrass is phenomenal. And it's also a natural bug repellent. Terra Shield is one that doTERRA has made. It's the outdoor blend. It's already pre-made for you. It comes in this, this very convenient spray bottle. Um, I have one of these. I'm going to take it to yoga on Saturday because I'm doing yoga in the butterfly garden. So this is very convenient. It also comes in the oil. I buy the oil because I add it to that recipe that I showed you guys earlier. 
Um, and these are all the different essential oils that are in there. This alone down here in Florida is just not enough for our bugs and mosquitoes that we have. You know, we got bugs that, you know, are, it could practically carry my little Bella away. Um, lemon eucalyptus oil. So go figure this month, this product is free. If you have a doTERRA account already, um, when you place your loyalty reward order before the 15th of the month, you get this product for free. So it's very refreshing, it has an amazing smell. It smells phenomenal. Um, it's great for cleaning, uh, but there's also a research study that found that this lemon eucalyptus was as as effective as DEET products. And I'm gonna show you that study next. So the CDC confirms that this natural oil is as effective as um, DEET. It, and in this study, it kept bugs off for four hours. Isn't that phenomenal? So how cool is that not to have to use chemical products that are dangerous? Um, so like I said, the lemon eucalyptus oil until the 15th of the month, you place a 125 PV, you stock up on all your toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, essential oil supplements, and you get this one for free. You, this month, we also have some other cool bonuses that I'll talk about. Um, a couple more pro tips. So first Saturday lime, that's, uh, we'll go through that. That's a lime that you can spread in the yard. Apple cider vinegar, diatomaceous earth. You really wanna clean up your all the feces in the yard as soon as they go, because that attracts bugs. Um, clean any stagnant water, uh, supplies, for example, um, bird baths or, um, you know, anywhere that collects because that's where mosquitoes and pests kind of hang out. So that first Saturday lime is um, up top here. This is a great yard treatment. I know that there's, oops, sorry about that. I know that there's a lot of controversy over using um, lime and diatomaceous earth in um you know, around your animals or around people. Um, this lime is food grade, so it's very, very safe. Um, it's, it's very fine. It keeps pests away from your home. The way it works is you sprinkle it on your lawn, you can sprinkle it on your carpets. For example, if you did unfortunately end up with a, a flea infestation, that's okay, you know, it happens. We, we just gotta get rid of it. So you sprinkle it on your carpets, you can sprinkle it um, on tile, anywhere. What it does is when the fleas and ticks walk across it, it's got these little sharp edges and it, and it scratches them, scratches their shells. So, it de so then they start to dehydrate and they die. That's how it works. Um, so it's very, very safe for your pets and for you. And then the diatomaceous earth, the same thing. It does, um, it does that. Now, diet, food grade diatomaceous earth is different than filter grade or, or lawn grade. Filter grade is crystallized. So they actually will bake it at a thousand degrees and then they add some chemical constituents and, and it crystallizes and it becomes much larger. That is, is a little bit more concerning because if a pet breathes that in and it gets into their nasal passages and into their lungs, it can cause some irritation. So you wanna stick with, you'll see it says 100% food grade diatomaceous earth. And again, treat the floors, the bedding where the pet sleeps, make sure you get any cracks and crevices, um, carpeting, you can use it in your car. Then internally you add a, um, a spoonful, depending on the size of your animals. So my big guy, I'll add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to his food in the morning and a teaspoon in the evening. My littles, I have one who's seven pounds and I have one who's 13 pounds and um, they'll get, the seven pounder gets an eighth of a teaspoon, the 13 pounder gets a quarter of a teaspoon twice a day. So what this does is it makes your, pet taste more acidic. Another bonus of doing this is I've got two little girls and sometimes the, the girls have um, some UTIs or, you know, sometimes their pH of their urine gets a little bit 
um, elevated. So adding the apple cider vinegar really helps keep their pH right around seven, which is really where you want that. Um, so if you're ready to uplevel your pet's maintenance program, like we said, you know, heartworm prevention and flea and tick prevention, those are maintenance programs that we're doing monthly. There, um, this is the all the essential oils that's in the super power kit. So when you buy all of these oils, there's 250 drops in a bottle. Um, so they last a super long time, and you're only going to use four to eight drops per spray bottle. So buying this, it makes 13 16 ounce spray bottles. So that's going to last you all year long. And then this month, um, any order over 200 PV, and what PV means is, is product value points. So oils are um, dollar for PV. So for example, a wild orange is $13 and it's 13 points. So for if you did just oils, it would basically be $200 is 200 points. So if you did place an order, you wanted to stock up on other things, then you get all four of these for free. If you have a loyalty reward cart, you get all four of these for free plus you get that lemon eucalyptus for free. So you're gonna get five oils for free. Um, so I definitely wanna take some questions. If you have any questions, I hope that wasn't too, too fast. I'm gonna stop my share. And so just take yourself off uh, mute, ask any questions if I can answer any. Um, but I think um, flea and tick prevention and heartworm prevention is that is one area in your home and for your pets, you can really up level your pet's health and remove some of those chemical pesticides, those chemical wormers, um, and really reduce that risk of kidney liver challenges and also um, cancer challenges. Uh, yes, Crystal. Victoria. Hi. Yeah. Hi, everybody. This is my first time here. Wonderful class. Thank you very much. Crystal, I am happy that you are with doTERRA. I have been with doTERRA for many, many years. A question, a little bit outside of the topic, but I have a puppy. She's four months old, not even yet. And she has a UTI infection, very resistant to antibiotics. Uh, can I give her uh, on guard? You can. So I can tell you um, what has really worked for me. I have um, my Brussels Griffon. Um, what, she's a retired show dog. She was a breeding dog. She, um, she does not like to go tinkle when we're on the road. She holds it. So she like chronic UTIs were her thing. So what has really, really worked for me, and I can make sure to get you this exact protocol, is um, there's a product called um, Red Rover. It's a cranberry extract. And I, if, let me grab it. I want to show it to you. Real quick. Um, sorry, I had to crawl over a bunch of dogs. <laughs> Find them. So um, this product is called Red Rover. And um, there's another one called Berry Balance. This particular one I really like. So it's an organic, um, berry blend. It's, an, it's loaded with antioxidants, but what it does is it balances that pH. Then the second thing I do with Bella is she gets a pro, if, if I know I'm going to travel, I try to be proactive, or if I know she's got a UTI, I do this. Um, I give her the PB assist twice a day, morning and night, because if there's an overgrowth of yeast and bacteria in their digestive tract, then um, it's definitely going to come out in their urine as well. Then the last thing that I do is juniper berry. Juniper berry is a game changer. So diluting for your puppy's age and size, um, uh, mm. Bella, like I said, is 13 pounds. So she's little. So I do one drop of juniper berry to four drops of fractionated coconut oil. And I rub that on her abdomen. And I do that three oh. times a day for her. Um, because essential oils metabolize just like food. I do that for seven yeah. to 10 days. And it every single time, 
I get rid of it. Juniperi is is an essential oil. Yes, it is. Yes, juniper berry. Yep, juniper berry is an essential oil. Yep, it's a DoTerra. DoTerra berry does. Yep. Okay. Yes, that and, is. And what can I get? Uh, uh, and what was the second thing that you say? You say the the, the, uh, and the, the PB assist. Probiotic. That's that's DoTerra's pre and probiotic. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, to balance that gut out and boost their immune system. Um, and then the mm -hmm. the Red Rover. Um, this I get. This you can get on Amazon. You can get it from Dog Naturally Magazine store. I love their products. I get it right from there. Um, mm -hmm. But that helps balance them out. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You, but, but the on guard is also safe to give yes, to them. Yeah, the on guard is safe. Capsules, yep. Little capsules. Yeah. Little gels. Yep. The on guard is okay. safe. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Any other questions? Krista? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I do have a question. Um, is it ever possible, for example, I have a friend who's been using this Seresto collar and has not been very um, accepting of sure. trying the homeopathic route. Sure. Uh, is there any way to forward her the video? Yes. So um, when I finish tonight, what I'm going to do is um, uh, it will... Um, what do they call it? I guess convert to a form that I can upload to YouTube. I'll upload it to YouTube and I'm going to put it in an email. So everybody that registered, you're automatically going to get that video and, and that YouTube link. You can just take that YouTube link and send it to her, or you can forward the email to her. Um, and that, you know, right. and I, I understand that a lot of times people, they don't make any changes because nothing's happened to them. And they haven't, you know, and then once something happens or they're given a diagnosis of cancer, and sometimes a lot of people live with skin problems and itching and it, they just live with it chronically because they just, they don't know what to do about it. They're not getting anywhere with their vet and they just, oh, it's a dog. I guess we'll just, it is what it is. And it's not severe enough. Now for me, I mean, you can imagine, I know you all, I know all of you have seen my Facebooks and my, my Instagram, you know, I, I live and breathe for my dogs. In fact, Buka fell into the pool yesterday while I was at the salon and I came home and David goes, oh, you're not going to be happy. He decided to be Jacques Cousteau and he fell in and, and uh, David goes, oh, I cut my knees up. I had to jump in the pool and get him. I'm like, I don't care about you. Let's walk Buka back and forth. <laughs> So I, you know, I, I live and breathe for these animals. And when Capone went blind, I went off the deep end and I dove into every single aspect of our life and of what I was doing. I couldn't believe I was such an irresponsible pet owner that I did not read the pamphlet that the vet gave me. And it says blindness is a side effect. I'm like, how could I have done that to him? I take full responsibility. You know, I, I should have read that pamphlet, but I trusted my vet and, um, you know, now, and, and, and of course I, I, you need your vets. And so there's a lot of people out there like your friend that unless something bad happens, they don't make any changes, but that's why I showed you the video. And I know that some of those things are hard to see. And some of those pictures are hard to see, but people need to see it and they need to see the FDA actual um numbers and those are only the ones that are actually reported there's a lot of them that are not reported out there um you know yeah, and, I, lo I just lost a, a dog uh in november a beautiful box six years old from a lymphoma and oh, she started losing his, her hair before and the doctor gave me the brabecto and, yeah. and she was taking the brabecto every three months and and that's when she got sick. And, and that's, you know, you have to be your own, your animal's advocate. They can't talk. Yeah. You've got to, I am a huge, yeah. huge 
proponent of, I love blood work and I was a vet tech and I just, I, the only way you know what's going on with your pet is, is lab work. Uh And like Lisa just adopted two beautiful little Frenchies. As soon as she got them immediately, she made that vet appointment. They're going to the vet in two weeks. She's going to get their baseline blood work. And then we're going to be able to work with them individually. Um, Uh That's a huge, but but yes, Gail, to answer your, I went off on a tangent because it makes me so mad that they don't listen. (laughs) Thank you, Krista. Great, great show. Enjoy Peru. Yeah. Thank you. I don't, I don't know what is the revenue for the bet that they keep pushing these medications. Yeah, I know. I know. And, you know, all you can do is educate yourself. Knowledge is power. We just mm-hmm. educate yourself. We do the best we can and we learn from our mistakes. And, and that's why I, mm-hmm. I love doing these workshops because I just want to educate. I love every yeah. single one of you that want to hear what I have to say. You know, yeah. I... And, um, you know, I just, I put my heart and soul into all of these. And so anything you want to know, you message me. (laughs) Thank you. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to get that recording out to you and um, super excited. And then I will see you all if you're interested next Tuesday. Let me show you. Next Tuesday is, let's see, what's, what's that topic? That is digestive balance and intestinal parasites, which we have. Uh, how, how we sign off for that one? Um, uh, who, uh, the same, the same registration that you signed up for this one. Um, um, yep, you go ahead. The same registration you signed up for this one. Bye, Larry. Thank you. I will tell David. Hello. <laughs> um, just go on that registration link and you'll see there's a class every Tuesday and Thursday for the month of February, and it's mm-hmm. a different topic. So just go right on that same registration. Um, I'll make That's sure right. that I put it in the email just so you have it handy when I send out the next email. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Great class. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.